So the first question in the 2017 National 5, there we go, evaluate a little function here, putting in a negative number, as you might expect. Well, it's handy if you have it written like this, because then it's more obvious that all you do is substitute negative 5 for the x. This says, give me x and I'll square it. So I'll give you a negative 5 and you'll square it. Remember to keep the negative inside the squaring. Don't just square the 5. And I'll also add on 3 times what you give me. So I'll also add on 3 times negative 5 times it. And then just watch what you're doing. Negative 5 squared is a negative times a negative. That'll be a positive 25. A negative times a positive, that'll be minus a 15. So the answer to that should be positive 10. Number two, semi-interquartile range here. Number of calls, blah, blah, but essentially you've got these numbers and you define the semi-interquartile range of them. Well, first of all, how many numbers are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Now, 10 numbers splits into exactly 5 and 5. There's a couple of ways you could do it, but when the numbers are small, then you can just do it by counting through them. There's 10 of them, so the middle would be here, although the first thing you should have done is just double check, but it was just two marks, that these numbers are in numerical order. If they weren't in numerical order, you'd have had to take time to reshuffle them into numerical order. But they were, so that was fine. Right, there's the middle. Now the quartiles mean you split it into four bits. So that's it been cut in half. If I cut this in half, quite nicely, I've got a middle to that half. And I've got a middle to that half, so that is the lower quartile and that is the upper quartile. So maybe I'll just take a note of that then. Q1 is 218, Q3 is 250, and it didn't ask anything about the middle or the median, which would have been halfway between those numbers. But it didn't ask you for that. What it did ask you for was the semi-interquartile range. Now, range. That's the difference between the highest and the lowest. Not that highest and lowest, but the highest and lowest quartiles, interquartiles. Well, the highest quartile was the 250. The lowest quartile was the 218. You have to find the difference between them and half that. That's the calculation. Probably just two marks after all. If you subtract them, that'll be 32. And if you half 32, you get 16. Number three from the 2017 then. Here we go. Again, two marks, but the marks all add up. Evaluate this little calculation involving fractions. Well, there's a couple of things you need to do. If you're multiplying or dividing, you definitely will need to change them. So from a mixed number, put it into an improper fraction. It's in sixths. So a whole one will give you another sixth of those to add on to the five to make 11. And at the same time, if you're dividing, don't change it to multiply. Multiply by the reciprocal. Multiply by four upon three. So that reckon would be the first mark. Now, you can either just multiply them. Multiplying fractions is easy. Four times 11, 44. Three times six, 18. But you have to simplify your answer. Be better off just simplifying it first before you have to get involved in multiplications. They divide by two. So what I'm left with is 2 times 11, which is 22, over 3 times 3, which is 9. So that may well be the answer they're looking for. That is, it's simplified. But I'll also write down at the same time, because this one started off as a mixed number. 22 over 9, that goes in twice. That's 18, or 2 and 4 ninths. I'm fairly sure, since it's a two-mark question, that this is the one they'll be looking for, just the simplified version. Not the 44 over 18, but the 22 over 9. 